I don't like the way you talk. I'll change it. But I don't like the way you walk. I'll change it. I don't even like the way you dress. I'll change it. Okay. You've changed so much for other people that you don't even know who you are anymore. Does that truly make you happy? Remember, it takes action to be inspired, which keeps the motivation to achieve your greatness. Let's get it started. Hey, y'all know what it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Two Ham. And you already know, we got Brit in the building. And today is Motivation Monday. So it's time to get those endorphins boosted so we can get that early pump to go into this week head strong. So, oh, and it's your first time here. Make sure you click in the description titled, What is Two Ham Productions? So you can learn a little bit more about this channel. So today's topic is owning your story. Perfect topic, because I got a few questions to ask you, Mr. Doham. Uh, All right, first one is, what does owning your story mean? What does owning your story mean? So, owning your story is acknowledging the good or bad that you have been through in your life to this point. Okay, how does owning your story help you grow? Some story help me grow. So, have you ever just felt like part of yours over here and the other part is over here. Well, when you own your story and every single part of it, the good and the bad, that is how you become wholehearted. Mm -hmm. uh, why would a person not own their story? Ah, that's a tough one, that's a tough one. So, a person wouldn't own their stories for two major reasons, I would say. One would be emotional trauma. So something you've been through that took a real damper on your emotional well-being. Um, I'll use an example. So my brother, uh, when I was about 20, he was killed. And so it was my older brother, we were only one year apart. And at the time, that definitely took a huge hit to my life and like brought me down like to a really low level. Um, for a while, I put it on the back burner. I mean, of course it always made me sad, but I put it on the back burner and kind of didn't really acknowledge it, but over time, I learned that, you know, this was just part of my story to my life, and that I had to use that energy to help fuel me, to push me even further to the point that I am now. And the second reason would be comparison of others. Um, a lot of people don't like acknowledging their story to this point because they might feel like their life wasn't ideal to society's standards, you know, of what success would be. And so they tweak and fabricate out little things in the story to make it more fit to what society deems okay. Okay. If you fabricate certain parts of your story, why does that affect you? So if you fabricate certain parts of your story, why does that affect you? Cause the biggest reason is you can lie to anybody, but you can't lie to yourself. When you fabricate your story of your life to this point, it's like as if you're taking poison and you're poisoning yourself. And every single time you think you're about to grow, you can't because you've literally been self-inflicting pain to your own psyche. And a lot of people don't understand why they can't find happiness and why they can't grow and why they can't reach the places they want. It's because every single day that you never owned your story, that you fabricated points to get to where you're at now, you're just hindering your own growth with your own personal poison. Remember this, you can go all day with someone, but at the end of the day, when you go to sleep, when you close your eyes in that darkness, you are all alone. And that is where the truth itself lies. Okay, uh, last question. How do I take the first step in owning my story? Hmm, the first step in owning your story is that you need to take the pen back, all right? <laughs> Whether it's from yourself or from others. Like you can no longer look for people to love you the way that you need to love yourself. Like you have to understand that your past does not dictate who you are today. There is no definite route to success. Like, we're all gonna face adversity, but in adversity, you figure out who you truly are. Remember, as humans, we grow by experience, not intellect. And so you can be as smart as you want, but until you've actually been through something, you never know who you are. But anytime you run across those circumstances, remember, 
two hams analogy of Yodo. Yodo, you only die once, but you live every single day. Every single day, you have the opportunity to become better than yesterday. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed that topic today. If you did, make sure you smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and get ready because next Monday, I'm coming at you with another Motivational Monday to continue to help develop your mental so that you can become your best self today. <clears throat> and what I've learned is that I need to take back my own pen to take back my own life, and I'm not gonna let the past dictate my future. I'm gonna be my own new person. See? And this is why we do this. In a matter of minutes, you have to acknowledge your story, take control to be able to grow into your best self. Great job, Britt. Thanks. And until the next time, bees out. Bzz.